Good morning, Racing Manager Matt Jukic here with another interview from Mountaineer. We have former leading trainer Eddie Pouston here joining us live from Mountaineer. They have their opening weekend last weekend. Eddie, happy to get back racing? Yes, very happy. Very happy. Obviously, things are a little uh, out of whack here with the coronavirus, but things tend to be slowing down, it seems, in a lot of areas. And Mountaineer had their opening weekend. Great opening weekend in a lot of ways. Handle was huge those three days. Yes, it was. It was uh, It was good for us, yes. Almost $8 million in those first three days in handle. But let's talk about you. You mentioned, uh, as we were talking beforehand, they're a five-time leading trainer at the Mountain, three times at Finger Lakes. What goes into being a leading trainer at, at a meet like Mountaineer where these horses are coming from everywhere? A lot of hard work, and you got to change your stock. you got to keep alternating your stock, and conditions win races. So you mentioned uh, that you want to keep alternating your stock. How many horses do you have on the grounds there, generally? Uh, on the grounds, I keep about 20, and then i got uh, 40 to 50 at my farm. How far is that from from out near the same general area, or is it a couple about hours? Five, about five miles. Five miles. Okay, oh, five not miles. <laughs> yeah, five miles. Not far at all. Barely a seven iron. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> so you had uh, the 2019 Claimer of the Year in your barn. Who, who was that there? Uh, his name was Click Jab. I think he wins six out of eight starts at Mountain. Nice. Air. So you started off the meet uh, ten starts last weekend. You got to win a second and a third. So not a bad start. You're mentioning you you think no. things are picking up here. Things are picking up. I had a lot of horses that uh, weren't fit. I figured I'd run them one time just to get them fit instead of breezing them again. And things should start rolling here next start. So speaking of next start, let's talk about Sunday real quick. Who's your best one of the three you've got in, you think, for a chance to score? I got a horse in the last race called Half Dream, and she's training really good. And uh, I laid her up because she got a set of ankles on her last year, and um, her ankles are locked now, so she should be tough. So Half Dream goes as the five horse in race number eight. Been off since August of last year, just the one start since May of last year. It's almost a year on the sidelines, but it really looked like she kind of turned the corner before she – or turned the corner again as she since ends up putting wins together in bunches there had two wins and then the third before you laid her up yes in the fifth you do send out the eight johnny banks of horse another one off a layoff you did get one start this year though uh starting on February. Hey, it's a mile though and uh <laughs> i don't think he's quite tight enough <laughs> good record though with the mile form he's got four starts or sorry for all four wins have come at the mile but the mountaineer has been uh is going to a cup, cup of tea, four starts, two wins, a second, and a third. Yeah, track's, track's a little too deep right now to go a mile first start, though. I, I'm i just worried about the distance. You also send out the uh, two horse in the seventh, Miss Mock, and what can you tell me about her? She's West Virginia, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she, I think she's in over her head. There's a couple bears in there. <laughs> she'll she'll short... win when I drop her. She'll win when I drop her, but I don't. I think that's a little too tough company. Yeah, a couple of short prices: the three treasured bond, as well as the rail horse there, and Coco Mockin. Uh, both look pretty yes. there, unfortunately. Yes. So you mentioned you uh, kind of laid your horses off. You did something different this year. You, normally, you'll you'll race through other tracks through the winter, or are you kind of gearing up for this meet. I I laid a bunch of horses off this year. Uh, I usually run a Charlestown and Mahoning. Uh, mm -hmm. right through, but I had a lot of horses that need time, so I laid them up, and then when the coronavirus, I was just starting to get wound up, and then the coronavirus struck, and we couldn't get on the grounds to breeze them nowhere, so it set me back two months. Well, hopefully you can get those uh, two months back here pretty quick. You mentioned kind of getting a race into them and, and moving forward. Obviously, it worked out last weekend, so we'll see if these mile distances are to the liking, and hopefully half to even get home for you. Yes, yes, I hope so, too. All right, Eddie, thank you so much for taking the time. Good luck on Sunday. How many more do you have Monday, Tuesday? Uh, I got a bunch. I got a bunch Tuesday. <laughs> I got a bunch. I got three Monday and a bunch Tuesday. Perfect. Well, good luck this week, and hopefully you can uh, find your way to the winner circle a few times. Thank you very much. Thanks so much, Eddie. Take care. Yep, bye.